So everybody is tired. They're ready for the day to be over. That one kid is still texting on his phone in the corner. <laughs> The teacher turns to the class and says, Okay, so for your next narrative project, you're gonna have to make a short film that's no more than one minute long. And then everybody's reaction's like... <laughs> Yo, Darius Britt here, and this is part five of how to write a short film. And today is all about writing micro films, which are one minute or less in runtime. Uh, isn't that like less than a minute? Like... 60 seconds or some sh Oh uh, yeah, yeah actually it is. And usually when you mix the words short film in one minute or less, you get this reaction. <laughs> Just relax, it's everything's gonna be all right. It's possible to tell a story in a minute. Psh, not a good one anyway. Commercials do it all the time though. And yes, there is a limit to what you can do in this time frame, so you're not gonna be making, say, Once Upon a Time in the West. So here's a list of things you're not gonna do in 60 seconds. You're not gonna be developing a character. You're not gonna be explaining any backstory. Forget about the three-act structure. You ain't got time for that, player. Your story still needs to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. You're just not squeezing all that other stuff into it. In order to keep it under 60 seconds, you gotta keep it like bare bones simple. Here's more of an idea of the type of structure that you usually find with microfilms. One, you establish the character. Two, you establish that character's problem. Three, that character takes action to solve said problem. And four, you have the result. The result can be either something that you expect or something that you don't. Now you've only got a few seconds to establish your character so all you're mainly doing is just letting your audience know who they're following. I'm in love with You're gonna be following that guy. Establishing the problem, same thing. It needs to be something that you can communicate quickly, something visual, because you don't have a lot of time to set things up with dialogue. When your character takes action, it's usually one action that they take to solve the problem. They don't really have a lot of time for multiple attempts, obviously. The result should be something unexpected or at the very least interesting. Either the character succeeds or fails. So you could call this the Mentos model. Why do you ask? Because Mentos made some awesomely bad commercials in the late 80s, early 90s that followed this exact structure to a T. What resulted was timeless, hilariously, ungodly bad commercials, but nonetheless, these still have a lot of educational value from a storytelling standpoint. And as I illustrate these examples, I will leave links in the description section so you can click on them and watch them again if you so choose. So let's get into it. Exhibit A. We get introduced to our character, business dude, problem. He gets wet paint on his suit. He takes action to solve the problem. Clever result. Boom! In and out in 30 seconds. Full disclosure, I don't think that guy's gonna make it all the way through the day without somebody saying something about that suit. Exhibit B. Introduce the character. He's a suburban kid. Character has a problem. He doesn't want moms loving on him in public. Character takes action to solve the problem. Result, moms doesn't see him. Walks right by him. These are great little short films, guys. Cheesy, but all the best things in life are. How about Baby Slingshot? Introduce the characters, Baby and Grandma. They share a common problem. This other kid's a douche. They take action. Success. All right, one more. Introduce our main character. We got a dog. The dog's got a problem. This dude's a jerk and he won't share his Doritos. The dog takes action to solve that problem. We got the result. The dog is successful. It's generally easier to do a comedy in this type of time frame because you can set up a joke or a funny moment in seconds and the payoff can be immediate. Your audience doesn't have to connect with your characters in order to enjoy it. Dramas? Mm, not so much. In order for a drama to work, your audience has to care about what happens to your characters. And it's really hard to make that connection with your audience in under a minute. Actually, it's... I would say it's impossible, but... Maybe it's not, maybe somebody will do it and blow everybody away, who knows. Drama is just by nature, you, you need time. So there you have it, how to tell a story in a minute or less. Uh, I'll leave additional links to other examples in the description section should you want to, you know, watch a couple more things. And yeah. Well, that's all I got for you. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like or subscribe. You can also follow me on the social medias uh, at Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. You can also check out my second YouTube channel, Darius Britt, where I chronicle my adventures on the film festival circuit with my first feature link film, Unsound. And I do live casting vlogs, etc, etc, and uh, I do believe that's all I got for you. Deep it out.